coming up next on today's episode of Eye for an Eye. He told my car wrongfully, damaged it in the process, and so now I had to pay for it. She came out looking, I mean, just look at her, I mean. Did you tow it because she's a pretty woman? Is that why you were towing No, me? I was contacted by my client to tow it. No, he asked to see my breast because I was a pretty woman. In the court system, justice is not always just. That's why they bring their disputes here. Real people, real problems, real revenge. Justice is eye for an eye. It's me, Kato Kalen, and you're the audience, and this is Eye for an Eye. Now, our plaintiff, well, she was a hottie who claims that her car was illegally hitched. Our defendant says that it's just a woman who's trying to weasel her way out of having to pay. The reason why we're here today is because a tow truck company towed my car from a club that was legally parked. Everybody who has their car towed tries to blame something on the driver. It's just, that's the nature of the job. Number one, he was rude. He sexually harassed me. At the same time, I mean, he wasn't even trying to work with me. The owner told me to tow this car. I'm just doing what I was told to do. I mean, I was hired to do a job. That's what I did. This is the case of the wanting wrecker. Will the squeaky wheel get the grease? Only Judge Extreme Akeem knows for sure. So let's watch. You're Jade Williams? Yes. And you're the plaintiff in this case, correct? Yes. Okay, and tell me what you're suing for. Um, I'm suing for the cost of towing as well as the cost of the damage to my car because he towed my car wrongfully, damaged it in the process, and so now I had to pay for it and I shouldn't have to pay for it. Okay, so. and how much was your damage? Tell me a little bit about your damage. Um, I had like $2,000 for like transmission, plus um, I had like some scratches on it and everything. And then I had to pay him $200 to get it out of the pound. All right, Mr. Rogers, tell me your version. My client, the owner of the club, contacted us, told her there was a, there was a blue infinity. He told me where it was. I went out there and picked it up. She came out looking, I mean, just look at her. I mean, what well, did had, you, you tow her car? Chance. I towed her car. Part of your allegations is that he towed the wrong car. Now I need to know what evidence do you have that he towed the wrong car? Okay, well. Oh, you got a witness here? Yeah. Come on into the cage, please. Tell me what you know about this case. Um, well, they called on my car. I own a blue Infinity four-wheel drive, and that's what they called to have that car towed because I parked illegally for like a few minutes to see what band was playing. So before club. you came here, did you know the plaintiff? We were acquaintances. Probably okay. more than that. So, so tell me Wait, what, you have the same color car as she yes, does? Yes, sir. Infinity four-wheel drive blue. Same, same color? Mm -hmm. So you were parked illegally yes, sir, in I the was. same type of car she had mm -hmm. after you left he mistakenly thought the legal car was her blue infinity. Yes, sir, that's what is he, what your that's testimony what is. Okay. What do you got to say about that, Mr. Well, Rogers? First, he says how do we even know that he even was there in a blue infinity? I mean, well, you got the call the about a blue but infinity. But that's irrelevant. The whole thing is that I wasn't well, parked illegally. Her car wasn't parked illegally. I wasn't parked illegally. You don't illegally. own a blue infinity. <laughs> you probably drive some beat up Volkswagen. You can't say he doesn't have any. You can't talk to me like that. Who do you think I am? I'm the tow man. He can just sit there and say he owned a blue infinity. I was called by my client. I have it in the parking lot. You're missing judge. the whole point. Can you point. prove that you own a blue infinity? Want me to go can get you, it? I can't drive it up in the Can the you prove that you own a blue infinity? It does, it does go, not matter what get, kind of car. Go get your Volvo. Bring it in. The whole time I'm standing there and I'm like, put my truck down, put my truck down. He's not taking me seriously. He's like looking at me up and down and, you know, he made me feel dirty. What else about it? Was there anything else in the tow truck or anything else that made you nervous? When I had to, I had to go over to the door. You know, you have to stand up on the little thing or whatever. Right. He has like, it was like some kind of porn magazine or something up on the dash. Like, porn magazines? I mean, I, Mr. Rogers, what were no, you doing it, to that truck? There. I mean, what do you expect me, you know, waiting for a call, you know? Yeah, you what, what do you think? He's just sitting there flipping through the magazine, looking at naked ladies, waiting on somebody to is call him and try to so make an extra dime. Is there or a crime against reading? And then he tells me he'll let my car down if I show my breasts. Coming up next, 
and you would have known it was a legally parked place. I okay. mean, why would you keep going? Owner of the club tells me I tow a car. That's what no, I do. No, because I wouldn't so show you, you my just Take breath. it upon yourself. I wouldn't have dropped the car even if you did show me the bridge. You're watching Eye for an Eye. The plaintiff says she was parked legally and should not have been towed. I wasn't what parked I illegally. Mean, I Her car wasn't parked illegally. I wasn't parked illegally. The defendant says he has the right to tow anyone at any time because... I'm the tow man. Let's see if Judge Akeem agrees. Did you tow it because she's a pretty woman? Is that why you were towing No, her? I was conducted by my client to tow the no, car. No, he asked to see my breast because I was a pretty woman. That's what that was. Did... Do you, do you have a hard time meeting women or something? Is that, Not at all. I mean, why, why would you? Not at all. Not at all. I mean, Did you even have what? to ask him that? Look at him. Obviously, he has a hard time meeting women. I got my car towed. If there was a big buff man that walked outside and told him to let the car down, I'm pretty sure he would have. I'm surprised I even had to ask. I mean, just look at her. I mean. Look so, at me. Look at you. There is nothing wrong with me. I know, but I mean, you, you know, they just should have come flopping out when, when you came running up to my truck. First of all, I wouldn't have to come run up to your truck if you didn't have my uh, car on the back of your tow truck, and you know I was parked illegally. Let me ask you, Mr. Rogers, did you go into the club and ask the club owner which car, which Blue Infinity is parked illegally? No. The club owner called me, and we, we conversate somewhat, and he told me which one it was, where it was parked. So where did, exactly um, what was wrong with the parking space she was in, you're saying? Nothing that I saw. Okay, so and so. He just, he told, he, he so told, he told me, so he told me to anyway. tow the car. He wasn't thinking. He so go back to my think. question. Did you go inside and ask the owner which car you were supposed to tow? No. Um, surely you had enough time to go in if you had time to read the magazines in the tow truck, didn't you? That's besides the point. The point is I was told, out to, I was told to, go, to go pick this car up. That's what I did. Okay. Yeah, he was looking at pictures. He wasn't really yeah. reading. As a tow man, are you supposed to go check with the owner or whoever called you to find out which car they want you to tow? In some cases. Why didn't you do it in this case? Because this, it's a, this is called a tow-off. It's not, it's not like that. A tow-off? Yeah, we have a contract with the owner of a building. There's certain, there's certain rules that people have to follow. Yeah, so that, exactly. There are certain rules you have to follow. You can't just illegally tow somebody's so car is what I'm saying. Let the me owner, at the same the time when you... My, no, owner. and at the same time when you towed it, you didn't even take care of my car. And I would have understood if you would have towed it illegally and I didn't have all these damages to my car. You tell me a little bit more about your damages. Okay, you're saying that was, he, he still made you pay the $200 for the towing? I had to pay the $200 for the towing. And because my car is a four-wheel four drive, it messes up the transmission the way he towed it. So my transmission that, was messed up. What, what did you bring here to court? I have my receipt saying that my transmission is messed up, that there were scratches on the side of my car, so to get everything fixed, it was like $2,000. Okay, hand that a big sugar ray, please. And, and then I also have, have some photos. Yeah, let me see those. After I found out my car got towed, I mean, I had to go take pictures of something. So you're saying that you were parked in the one and then the other one was the the illegal one right in front of it, is that correct? Right, but okay. I was parked in the one where the meter is like right by my, my bumper in the back. Okay, all right, Mr. Rogers. Mm -hmm. If the owner calls you up and says there's a white Mustang that needs to be towed and there's three white Mustangs in the parking lot, how do you know which one's supposed to be towed if you don't go ask them which one? In cases like this, if there was uh, uh, more than two, which there, which there wasn't, he wouldn't give me a license plate. When she came up to you, did you keep going because you thought she was pretty? Were you trying to impress her? I mean, why would you keep going? Owner of the club tells me to tow a car. That's what no, I do. No, because I wouldn't so show you, you my breasts. So you just take it upon yourself. I wouldn't have dropped the car even if you did show me the breasts. How, That's what hey. you told me. You said to show my breasts and you'll let it down, right? Oh, hey. Talk to the owner of the club. He'll straighten it all up. What, what about the damage to the transmission? She's the saying you cost $2,000 to the transmission. Even I if didn't it was mess up the transmission at all. My transmission was not messed up when I drove to the parking lot. H has he ever offered to pay you back the $200 for the towing bill? I'm not going to. Are has, you serious? You're not going to pay her back? I'm not going to okay. pay her back. And have you ever offered an apology to her? No. Has he ever contacted you since then? No, he's been in the whole time. Okay, and you had to go to all the trouble bringing him to this court, I for I? The reason why I brought him here is because every other court takes too long, so I got to bring him to you because I know you're going to get something done. That's what everybody says. <laughs> I hear that all the time. They're frustrated with the judicial system. I'm going to I for an eye. I could get a decision fast and I could get justice. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in this courtroom. I'll be back in a minute with my decision. Thank you. I do like their company slogan, we don't charge an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. <laughs> but it doesn't sound like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, does it now? Let's see what you have to say. I'm just curious. Do you have to be fat and stupid to be a tow guy? <laughs> Now, do you think she'd drop the charges if he would show her 
his boobs. <laughs> well, I got my parents. You know, I don't understand why this guy's such a, so difficult. Why couldn't you have just gone to the club owner and got a license plate number? Yeah. It's, the owner, it's the owner's decision. Again, he's paid not to think. You've been towed before. Yes, I have been towed, and it really sucks. Uh, <laughs> I speak from experience, it does suck. I've been towed like many, many, many times. But it doesn't matter what we think. We have to find out what Judge Extreme Akeem will think. Let's find out now. Well, the way I look at this case is two legal issues. The first legal issue is whether you lawfully towed her car. Before you take someone's property, you better make sure you have the lawful right to take that person's property. You took a car that you weren't supposed to take. Now, the second issue is whether you damaged her car. You were supposed to tow a four-wheel drive car on a flatbed, not the type of truck you used. The damage you did to her car was linked to you towing it by the mechanic. So today, the bat of justice in my verdict is to the plaintiff. <laughs> Mr. Rogers, I want you to feel what this woman felt by the damage to her car. So, Ms. Williams, I'm gonna allow you to take this man's tow truck, put his car to the back of it, and do the same amount of damage that he did to your car to his car. <laughs> now that's justice. Coming up next, the plaintiff gets revenge. You know what? There's nothing like a girl in a tow truck either. Driving a tow truck, I mean. Dynamite in that tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Bing. That was not good. That's not good. That's the real deal. You're watching Eye for an Eye. Miss Williams, I'm going to allow you to take this man's tow truck, put his car to the back of it, and do the same amount of damage that he did to your car to his car. <laughs> now that's justice. <laughs> Ray, you are gonna love this revenge. Have you ever been towed? Yeah, one time I had a man, I had this beautiful young girl. We come out and the car's gone. That's all I need to hear. This one's for you. You're gonna love it. Someone's with me. We got him. All right, we got him. Sugar Ray, this doesn't make you laugh. Nothing will. Oh, he's going crazy. This guy's going crazy. Oh, no. Not today, man. Get that out of my face. Hey, man. Eye for an eye. Yeah, we took your car, man. I know who the you are, man. We got you. Get the out of my face. Hey, we got you. Get the my face, hey, how does man. it feel to be towed? F you. How does it feel to be towed? It don't feel good, man. You know how many people in America right now are just laughing because they wanted to do this to a guy who's towed up? Everybody. <laughs> hey, oh, everybody. Yeah. Even Sugar Ray. He's yeah. been towed. He Illegally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. We got him. We finally got him. I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm just glad you're here because this oh, guy's ready man. to hit me, oh. and this is Big Sugar Ray. <laughs> Phil, come on. We'll get your car, Phil. Burn up. My car. Is any, any scratch. We got your any car. scratch. All y'all. All y'all. Now, 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 usually when our car get towed, it'd be all scratched up. Now, Just he don't want his car to be scratched. Right. He don't want his car to be scratched. He don't want his car to be scratched. All right, we'll get you. We'll get you. Come on, follow us. When we arrived at the junkyard, millions of possibilities were running through my head what she was going to do to my car. I had no idea what they were going to do how long they were gonna do it. It just, I had, I had no clue. A lot of damage can be done in a place like that. That's your car. 
It's on the tow truck. And uh, you remember her? Yeah. I'm excited about this thing. Hey, guess what? Great news for you. Jade? Yes. Guess what we did today? What did you do? We towed his car without him knowing it. Hey, Watch sounds best, familiar. Ask him if he can relate. If I could have been there to actually see his face, like, face to face, I probably would have cried the whole way home, like, from laughter. So uh, here's the thing that we're going to do. You get to drive a truck with his car because I, I believe that he damaged your car. And uh, we should probably get you a protective helmet. Oh, you brought one, good. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, you like my new look. Well, let's inspect this now. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah? Yeah. Not bad. No scratches on it, huh? Not yet. I was playing Lone Ranger myself. And they, they just totally ganged up on me, so that's how I feel about that. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty brand new car. Anything you want to say to it? Goodbye. It's just a car, come on. It's not a human. <laughs> hey, Jade! See ya! Bye! All right. See, look, she just stalled it out. Hey, Jay! I'm not the best no, driver of a stick! He, he just said you're probably gonna do more damage to the tow truck than his car! Shut Shh. up! First of all, I don't even know how to drive a stick, as you can tell. I was like, the car kept cutting off or whatever. But once I got the hang of it, and I made that first little scratch, oh, man, it was on from there. If she doesn't watch it, she's gonna hit your car into another one. That didn't sound good. I wasn't worried about anything. And, like, and then she started getting the hang of it, and it started going bad, and then it started getting hard to watch. Come on, baby, show me some airbags! Ah! There you go. No damage, it's OK. Uh... Plenty of room, you can fit right here! That hurt? It's just a bumper, I got another one at home. Hey, Jade, he said he's got another bumper at home. I want some damage. I couldn't get the angles quite right, and I could not, I mean, for some reason at first, I could not get this dude's car. I could not mess it up how I wanted to. The tow truck man getting the dope reality. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Just the wheel. Just the wheel. That's a smash there. That's a, that was a huge hit right there. Oh, you got a huge scratch in your uh, driver's side. Oh. I'm starting to feel for you. When you're determined to do something, you're not going to stop by any means. So I just kept trying and kept trying. And finally, I started running into things. And the more you start running into things, you kind of get a hang of it. You know what? There's nothing like a girl in a tow truck, either. Driving a tow truck, I mean. Dynamite in that tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Bing. That was not good. That's not good. That's the real deal. Start putting some pretty good dings on. You know, it's only a 2003 Dodge Stratus. I paid cash for it, and only had had 16,000 miles on it. I think you made your point. She's not stopping. Sorry. But you know, when a female get mad, they go all the way. They go all the way. Up. You're talking from experience. It sounds like. <laughs> bang bang. Oh man, oh man. Dude, I think she likes banging. That car is. Okay, let's give you a ride home. It's come down to that, me giving you a ride home. <laughs> Someone give me a ride home? Yeah, you're going to get a ride. I guarantee you that. Oh. I actually caught a glimpse of Phil's face when I was driving the tow truck. He looked sick. Oh my gosh, he looks so sick. Hey, Jade, I think you did enough damage. Hey, wait, you can do a little more. I always open the door for a lady. All right, Jade, I think you, she proves your point. I always open the door for a lady. When he opened the door where I could back it up and side swipe his door and basically almost knock it off, the feeling I got, I mean, the adrenaline just started rushing and boy, let me tell you, even though I missed the first couple of times. <laughs> that was polite. I, I don't know I, I know how to describe how I was feeling. More, more mad than when I saw the, the Hummer pull up. 
She's on a mission. Yeah. All right, Jade, I think you she proves your point. Yeah. This car. All right. Yeah. Enough, stop, 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 stop. That is way, that's enough. You're crazy. Even though I missed the first couple of times, I got back and I got it and I got it good. So I hope he learned his lesson. I worked for a long time. I, I paid cash for the car and, you know, just all the scratches and she started banging it up really, really good. Hyper extending the door and, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Woo, yeah. Yeah. I feel good. You feel good, he feels bad. I mean, it's, uh, it's got to be such a, a huge release of smashing something. What's it feel like? Man, that's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. I don't remember yeah. you smashing her car, though. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, he's a souvenir. I mean, you want your plates back. <sighs> that's something. I guess on this eye for an eye, justice is a toe for a toe. Until next time, I'm Kato Kalen with Smash and Crash. <laughs>